All right, guys, so I have a what would you do situation here. So you move to an off-grid property, basically raw land, where you intend to build your homestead from the ground up. Now you have your set of priorities which starts and mainly involves around building a house, getting the solar set up, getting your water running and operational, and that is your top priority. But in the midst of all these wonderful plans, you get a phone call from one of your friends who's a farmer who said that their pig jumped the fence and uh, accidentally got pregnant. And they just so happened to have some cooney cooney pigs, which you had eventually wanted to add to your farm for an extremely good price. Do you go ahead and get the said pigs even though you don't have the pasture and the infrastructure set up? Or do you stick with your original plan and get your house built first? Well, we kind of chose the pigs. So how much do I know about raising pigs? Absolutely nothing. Well, that's not entirely true. For the last year I've been reading a lot about raising pigs. Uh, Little Mountain Ranch had actually sent me to a really good website which is uh, Sugar Mountain Farm which has a lot of good information on raising pigs, pigs and I've read a ton about how to raise them but I have zero experience in raising pigs, so I have no idea how this is going to go. One thing that I do know is that uh, we are not set up for predator protection against uh, any kind of wildlife out here that might harm the pigs. So we need to come up with a solution to that. And what I've come up with is temporarily I am going to build, or rather Jeremy's going to build, and I'll help. Put up some hog panels inside of the chicken run. We basically let these guys free range most of the day so they don't need the whole run. So to protect from things such as coyotes uh, and other kind of predators, we're going to set up the pig run inside of the chicken fence. Uh, this is temporary until we have a better solution. Uh, LGD dog would be really, really nice right about now. We don't have one. So that's going to be our solution. And right now we're gonna go head off to Tractor Supply. We're gonna pick up some hog panel. stuff so we can play at homesteading. First thing we're going to do is move this chicken coop over there close to the other side so we can kind of give more space over here. Now we're going to lay out a little fence. Posts, pallets, cattle panels, can never have enough of those. OK, 
Okay, so here's the plan. Uh, we're gonna put our little fence area inside that fence area. We got eight 34 inch high by 16 feet long hog panels. And we're gonna make a, what, a 16 by 32 rectangle. And then we'll have some left over so when they grow up a little bit, we can expand it some more. And uh, that's kind of the plan now. So it'll be a fence about this tall. The little feeder pigs probably about this big right now. And uh, they should have enough room to move around and do what they need to do. So first we're gonna put in a corner post and just measure out our perimeter and put in the posts. Hook up the panels to the posts and see what we get. What do you guys think about your new roommates? To be. Now we got the pig pen set up. Maybe you guys can see what we're trying to do here. We have a 16 by 32 foot uh, hog panel that is inside of the chicken poultry net. Um, this poultry net is, and a lot of people ask, it's Premier One poultry net. And it's, it's not hog netting. Uh, we don't have hog netting right now. And we don't have any way of protecting our little baby piglets. So the only way to do that is to stick them inside of our chicken run. So this, um, poultry net is one way to keep things like coyotes, raccoons, foxes, um, other types of predators out from uh, the, the inside of the run. So we will keep our chickens in here locked up at night and we will keep our pigs in here locked up at all times and uh, we will keep the fence on uh, at nighttime when we're not out here because usually we're out here during the day. So uh, that's our current setup. We do have a little gate that we're gonna work on here. Uh, just something real temporary and uh, we need to work on a shelter. So you'll be seeing that next. Well, I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do here, but I'm going to fashion some sort of a critter house out of pallets. I guess as long as you can keep them warm and dry and give them a place to pass out, that's all they really need. So we'll see uh, what we can come up with here. Okay, here's sort of a plan, I think. We'll take two pallets that are the same size. <clears throat> gonna disconnect the, you know, cut the nails on this top runner on both sides. And then I'm gonna use the runner, push this end all the way down to this runner, and make it run up diagonally. And cut off these slats so I have a like a diagonal here. And then I'll have a, a back wall that, this, that is this high, a front wall that is this high, and a slant for a roof. So I'll do one of these for each side. Then I'll build a back out of a half a pallet, leave the front open, stick a roof on it, and we'll see what we end up with.
All right, I got all the nails out of these slats on both sides, the top and the bottom. So now we're going to take this runner and just kind of make a slant. and reuse your nails. Jamie stole my workbench to go pick up the critters, so I'm gonna use mine. Not your place. Y'all remember that 30 random facts about us video? Specifically this part? I really, really don't love pigs. I don't think I could ever love a pig, but I do love bacon. Uh huh. I think the little winkers are here. Go. We got us some pigs. Rough ride, little kids. Juan, that's Captain. Captain? Come on. <laughs> that's Link. Oh no, that's Link. And that's Moo. Come on, Moo. Snag him. You try snagging. He's not going to be happy, but... 
I am trying to snag <laughs> You're stuck in the cage. All right. All right, let's see you do it. How to get a pig out of a cage. Come here, dum dum. Stubborn. Come here, little boy. That's a link. <laughs> you can just dump that hay out, I guess. Jeez. No? <laughs> so pigs yeah so we ended up going with three little pigs I know they're not supposed to have names but whatever the kids name them uh, this is Link this little spotted one is Moo and the one that's mostly black with the stripe down the back is Captain. They're all boys. None of them are castrated. Now, uh, I know some of you guys are going to ask about taint. Anybody who's ever uh, been around pigs might know that uh, sometimes the meat can be tainted, have a, an off flavor if you don't castrate the males. Um, my research and also the farm that I got them from says that as long as the males are not around any females then you won't have that issue and so these guys are not castrated and uh, they shouldn't be aggressive or anything this particular breed is supposed to be very very docile so we're not too concerned about uh, having three males in here and right now these little guys are they just came from a very very long trip they uh, unfortunately got sick on the car ride and so they're just now getting settled in. This is their first half hour in their new pen. And uh, Jeremy's done a really good job building them a little pig shelter. I stuffed the walls with hay to keep them warm. I put a, the rest of the hay bale inside there. They'll eat what they want and I guess make a bed out of the rest of it. And uh, Jeremy's going to go ahead and get the roof on this. And uh, maybe at some point we'll get the uh, walls um, sealed up in here so it doesn't get all wet. But we are calling for some really cool weather this week. So we'll get these guys all tucked in. Just a quick note that this shelter is facing south, so that should help with the uh, with the cold win winter winds. Ozzy's never been around any other critters. <laughs> I don't think he knows quite what to make of this. Okay, next day, I uh, gotta finish the roof on the little oinker crib and uh, let's go see how they're doing. Hello. Looks like they're doing okay to me. <laughs> Turned out pretty good. Two and a half pallets. Some uh, leftover sheet metal for 
you know, roofing metal, stuff it with hay. Probably going to uh, put a panel on the top about to there, at least until they get a little bit bigger. Give them some shade and uh, maybe help protect them a little bit more from the weather. Pretty simple. Didn't cost any money, which is what we like. So it's day two with our Cooney Coonies. It's the first time the kids have met them. Um, they seem to be adjusting pretty well to their new little pig pen in here. They were sleeping in the little hut last night. So we'll see if they go to bed tonight, uh, same as last night. Um, but yeah, we are going to raise these guys out. Um, and hopefully when they are full size sometime in about 12 months, which will be sometime mid-December, then we'll take them to be processed for sausage and bacon and other good things. Uh, but this is our way of kind of getting our feet wet with pigs and uh, just seeing if we like them and if we like raising them and how they work out here on the farm. So. Um, I go back to the original question that I asked you guys. What would you do? Would you guys go for the pigs or would you wait until everything is set up? So leave your uh, comments down below what you guys would do if you were you guys that were starting a homestead from scratch. And uh, if you guys like this kind of stuff, like subscribe. We're gonna have more piggy videos and other things. Probably gonna have to set up some sort of uh, drum waterer, uh, a few other different things around here to get these guys uh, rotating on the pasture. Uh, hopefully these guys will help prepare some garden beds for us and a lot of people have been asking if we're going to do a garden this year and we just don't have everything set up to do a garden the right way so we probably won't be doing a garden but these guys can prep a garden for us for next year so that's the uh, type of videos we'll be seeing coming out soon. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.